Hey guys, so we are back in the studio. Today's lesson is going to be about pattern, rhythm, and continuity. We're going to use those stamps that we pre-made to create pattern, rhythm, and then talk about continuity within our pieces here. Before we can do that, we have to open up your stamps and get them ready to be used. Because we use these paper cups, you should be able to just snip it with some scissors, make a little cut, and carefully unwind that and then peel it apart from that little bit of excess clay that was in there. Now, before you can use it, this stamp's probably gonna have a little bit of rough edges on it, so you wanna take your feddling knife and clean up just using the edge of it around the ends, trying to get away any of that little rugged rough parts. In addition to that rugged edge, you probably want to go ahead and clean up the underside because that will be sharp too. Now, I just made a giant plaster mess over here. You want to be sure that you fully clean this up and get any bits of plaster out of the way from where you're going to be working with the fresh slabs. That's why I had my slabs wrapped up over here on the side. If any of this excess plaster gets mixed into the slabs, your slabs will have problems in the kiln. The plaster does funky things to the clay and it actually ends up blowing up. The first thing I'm going to talk about is pattern. Pattern is repetition of some kind of little design element that is placed over and over and over again until it covers the entire surface of the piece. I would like for you to use the stamp that you made or stamps to press into your piece and create some kind of pattern. Very simply, just go in. When I'm doing this, I want to make sure that I'm covering just about every bare spot all over this sample tile. Making sure you have a good thought out overall design and everything looks even and kind of spaced out properly, unlike this piece, it's not spaced out all that great. That's called continuity. The continuity is a piece itself in, in its entirety and whether or not you have any interruptions or anything that maybe doesn't look pleasing to the eye, maybe bare spots in the pattern or the design overall, that's continuity. Continuity is when we're talking about, you know, the totality of the piece. The next thing we're going to talk about is rhythm. Rhythm is a flow in the design. It does, does the design express some kind of movement, some kind of flow within the pattern itself? I am going to take my stamp. You see here how I stamped this pattern is really flowing down and around this distance of my tile here. This piece, maybe it doesn't have as much rhythm to it, right? It's a little static. I mean, there is some flow to it, but it's not as dynamic as something like this where we can follow the design and trail around. Again, now we go back to talking about continuity. Does this piece on a whole have continuity? Do you think that it, it's missing some bare spots? Does the design not work out well? And or does this piece have better continuity? Is the placement of this design a little bit better? Does it feel like it's lacking anything? Those are the two different terms that I would like you to address, pattern and rhythm. And then also keep in mind the idea of continuity in your tile pieces. Do they have continuity on a whole? That's the end of today's lesson.